Hello and welcome to another tutorial video from Zenata Consulting. I'm Josh Oliver, and this is gonna be a small snippet from our full product tutorial we did on Zoho Desk in March, 2023. In this video, I'm gonna go through all the options we have for managing a knowledge base inside of Zoho Desk. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe down below. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer them on our weekly show, Ask Zenata Anything About Zoho. Azaz. Thanks and enjoy. All right, uh, so we have, uh, like I was talking about, we have like the front end with the tickets and then we have maybe kind of like the back end with knowledge base. And it doesn't really have to be that way. Knowledge base can appear in a few different ways, uh, either by suggested articles, uh, or you could just come in here and review some articles. And the other option is this: these articles could appear on a help center uh, using like a, a widget icon at the bottom of your website. Maybe once you hit in on your website, there's that little pop-up at the bottom right screen of your website that says, uh, need help finding this, here is a list of related articles. So these articles do sync in with Zoho Sales IQ, or they could appear on the uh, Zoho Desk's Help Center as well. So inside of Desk, we do have what's called a Help Center. And there's also an ASAP widget, which we probably won't spend too much time on today, but uh, we do have other videos out uh, inside of YouTube that go over the ASAP widget and the possibilities with that. Within the knowledge base, we are creating articles and these articles are linked to departments. So in this case, we have our demo for Zenata department and we have our internal department. When we are creating an article, it's gonna be linked to one of these departments. Now this is an article here uh, answering your first ticket and we can see some basic information. It's a title, the article itself, we can tag them, and then we can also see likes and dislikes. This is a new feature, uh, at least for the help center side of things, where uh, if you're on a help center and you want to, as a, as a uh, end user, they have access to what's called a help center where they can view all of the knowledge base articles and they can also create tickets from that help center as well. And when they're inside of the help center, they can like, dislike, and even comment on articles from within that help center. So tickets can be uh, published externally or just internally. In this case, this is a, uh, let's see. Oh, display permissions. Okay, so this one is only available to agents. But we could say, no, it's also re uh, available to registered users, which means users who have created an account, uh, end users through the help center that have created an account, or it's available to the public, all users. And then the article owner, categories, uh, we could even link it to subcategories, and then tags. Tags are a nice way to make sure it gets linked as a suggested article on a ticket. So if a tag matches, it should pull it in as a suggested article. And then we have a few other things down here at the bottom uh, for SEO optimization. So title, some meta keywords and meta description. Uh, so these help build in SEO uh, capabilities through the help center. And I've talked a little bit about the help center. So let me just show you what that looks like Whenever you create a uh, department, that department, or when you create, a, when you start out with desk, it creates a help center by default. And it'll, it'll create that URL, which is publicly accessible. So if I go to that URL, it's uh, basically going to show you a list of knowledge base articles, which this one, there's, there's no knowledge base articles that are public yet. Uh, and then we could also show my area, which is a list of any of the support tickets that are associated to you. And then you can also customize this a little bit or submit a ticket uh, for your own. Now, in this case, uh, we haven't enabled the support ticket for 
uh, public, you actually, you have to sign in, but there's a bunch of different settings with the help center. So we have access settings, languages, uh, and some other customization setups in here. I believe we also have a full video tutorial on setting up the help center inside a desk. So definitely check that one out as well. Um, so I won't spend too much uh, or much more time on this, but there's a lot of capabilities within the help center to uh, act as a portal for end users to get to those knowledge base articles or to create and review their tickets. Back into this knowledge base. Um, essentially, it's a list of t articles. We can see views, likes, dislikes, and comments. And there's a bunch of reporting aspects we can do on articles as well. Now that pretty much covers it as far as ticket management in the knowledge base. I hope that kind of sheds some light on how these knowledge base articles can also interact with tickets and present helpful articles and support your agents when they are responding.